Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to find an open circuit. So for a circuit to be complete, there are three things that's gonna be needed. You're gonna need a load, you're gonna need a power source, and you're gonna need some sort of conductor. Basically, load can be anything that requires power. For example, the radio, the window motor, door actuator, tail light, headlights, and so on. A conductor can be anything, really. It can be, especially for a vehicle, it can be a connection, it can be wires, and so on. And basically a power source, that's gonna be the battery and the alternator. So there are a lot of factors that can cause an open circuit. And some of the common causes are gonna be blown fuse, a bad switch, a break in a wire somewhere, or one of these accessories that also go bad, that can also cause an open circuit. In addition to that, there are also a lot of different factors that can cause an open circuit. For example, let's just say you have a connection over here. You can have a loose connection or a bad connection that's not properly connected. You can have loose pin that's coming out of the connection. You can have burnt wires you can have a buildup of corrosion and rust. You can also have interference that can interfere the function of the wire. For example, let's just say a wire is rubbing against something that is hot. For example, the exhaust manifold. That can cause it to burn and cause an open circuit. Also, it can also have impact. For example, things on a road that can start flying, such as rocks and little, little debris that can come and hit the wires and so for some reason cause it to break. You can also have rubbing, for example, a wiring harnesses that rubbing against the uh, somewhere in the engine bay, some, somewhere that's pretty sharp, that can also cause it, cause a break in the wire. You can also have loose connections of the butt, especially the butt connector, that can also become loose. You can also have um, loose connection at the load and so on. So you want to find an open circuit, all you need is a multimeter and set of two ohms. Next, you want to take a positive lead and a negative lead and connect it to two points that you are testing. For example, from here to here, we have the wire and some sort of resistance in between and a connection. So what you want to do, you want to connect it from here to here and you want to check for continuity. If it shows 0.00, .00 that means the circuit is good. If it shows a one, that means there's an open somewhere between this point and this point. So what you wanna do, you wanna check between here and here and you wanna conduct an inspection and to see if there's a, a break somewhere in the wire or the connection is loose and so on. In addition to that, you wanna make sure that resistance is extremely low. Ideally, the number should be close to zero as much as possible. If you have anything greater than 0 0.05, that means there's too much resistance. Resistance most likely is gonna be caused by corrosion and build up of rust somewhere between this point and this point. Let's just say if you have 0.10, that's a little too high and that's gonna cause these wires to become hot and probably burn. So you want it to be as low as possible. So you do not want to have that much resistance. So here's a live demonstration of a closed circuit. Again, you need three things. You need a power source where I got this battery jumper. You have a load where I have this um, LED light and some sort of condu conductor. So this simple circuit, what I have is a fuse. And let's just say this is the uh, the switch. For example, let's just say the fuse is blown. That will cause an open circuit and, and the light will turn off. Let's just say you got a, a bad switch. That would also cause an open circuit. And let's just say you got a break in the wire somewhere. Let's just say over here. That would also cause an open circuit and let's just say right here at the connection at the light let's just say for some reason 
this part over here came loose. That would also cause an open circuit. Okay, let's just say the light bulb is blown. That would also cause an open circuit. So basically an, an, an open circuit is in, any interruption in the circuit that prevents current from flowing. To find for a, a break in the circuit, it's very simple. All you need is a multimeter and set to ohms. Next, you want to take the positive lead and negative lead and you want to touch them together. And you want to make sure reading is close to zero as much as possible. Again, set to ohms, which is this sign over here. And you want to touch it. If there's a one right here and nothing happens when you touch it, you want to check the connection at your wires. Over here, over here, and your connection. Now let's cause a disruption in the circuit. Let's just say you have no idea what the problem is. What I like to do, I like to check the load, the problem with the load, especially the wire leading up to it. Let's just say for some reason this connection here is burnt and everything turns off. So what I like to do, I like to trace the problem from the load to work from the load, the wire leading up to wherever it's going. So let me just say we got this wire here and there's some sort of issue in this wire. So you want to take that connection there and you want to check all the way to the fuse. So over here so far we know the wire going up from the light to the fuse is good. Now let's check from the wire going to the light, going all the way to the other side of the fuse. So right there, I know that the uh, the fuse itself is good, or, or a circuit uh, or protector. Also, next, you want to take this part here, and you want to touch all the way to the ground. And we know that part is good. So, if all the wires checked out from here to here is good, that means this part we don't have to worry about it. Next, you want to check the other side of the wire. Again, you want to check two points from here to here. And if we have a reading of zero, that mean, that mean the wire is good. So this part here, we can eliminate that part and don't worry, worry about it. So most likely the problem is gonna be somewhere in the connection over here. So that's how you find uh, an open circuit. And we did process elimination. So we know the problem is gonna be over here somewhere. So now we know the problems over here. So what do you want to do? You want to get yourself an alligator clip and you want to check the connection. So let's pull it out over here and let's probe it. So we know the connection on this side is good. And what you want to do, you want to do it to the other side as well. So we know that this connection is good. So the problem likely is going to be a bad load of some sort. So that is some ways to check for an open circuit. I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.